Virgo couples. Welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. Please know that these messages can go either way. Please check your moon and rising signs. All right, at the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Swords. So there's some type of anxiety-ridden situation that you are getting over. All right, can't Virgo couples, it looks like um, there's a situation right here that is a three-party situation. It looks like someone is ready to release themselves from a three-party situation. It looks like someone was dealing with an ex while still being in their current situation. It looks like someone is deciding to walk away and leave from this situation. Um, they're walking away and they're leaving from the situation. Some of you may have children with someone and they are taking the children with them. And someone will ultimately walk away and leave someone left out in the cold. Um, there's some type of a cycle that has gone on. So maybe you or your partner has been jumping back and forth between the two of you, you, this, this person from the past and you in this current relationship, there's been some type of a, a pattern that is not closing and you may be feeling taken for granted, or maybe that's the reason that your partner is leaving. Maybe they feel taken for granted. Maybe they feel like you've been making selfish choices. You know, I'm seeing vanity here. Um, someone is definitely leaving, taking a trip. Uh, you could be taking a trip from to be with an ex that is far away from you. Uh, and it looks like some secrets came out. And this was likely maybe due to some type of spying that someone was doing. And they found out some secrets about a third party, it looks like. I'm feeling like for some of you, it could be the mother of uh, your, your child's other parent, possibly. Um, but maybe you feel like... Your partner is not really willing to put in the work that's necessary to repair this relationship. And some of you are, are deciding to leave and reunite with someone from your past. Because I'm seeing a reunion here, so that's obviously someone that you already know. I'm seeing um, specifically here Taurus, Libra. Uh, Taurus, Libra. I'm seeing Pisces as well, Capricorn. Um, some of you... And it could really be any sign because I see all elements here. But some, oh, did I say Libra? Yeah. Some of you are really ready to take action. Now, in this current situation that you were in, you could have felt like your partner, there was like, um, like you were on a battlefield when the two of you would argue. Um, this is the Five of Swords talks about someone that doesn't know when to stop in an argument. They just continue to up the ante and one up the other. So maybe you were forced to feel this way in this relationship. Maybe you were provoked in some way or you, your partner was acted this way towards you. Um, but there was a head over heart decision that was not being made and someone now sees the situation for what it really is. Um, there are emotional imbalances in the situation that they're leaving. But I feel like one of you doesn't want to take a break from this relationship. You don't want to let this go. Um, one of you is waiting maybe for your, the, the other to take action, to be able to initiate <clears throat> the start, excuse me, the start of the relationship again. You're hoping that this person from the past will offer you, <clears throat> excuse me, some level of forgiveness where the two of you will be able to, to wipe the slate clean. This person has not turned their back on the relationship. The one, the one who is leaving to go to the person from the past, the situation external from them. They have not turned their back on the situation, even though there has been a third party situation in the past. This person is hoping to come forth to start afresh and give a new commitment and ask for a second chance. This person could have been very sneaky in the past and um, which caused the relationship to become unstable. But I'm seeing that things may possibly move in your favor for those of you who are leaving. Um, for some of you, this was a real blow to your self-esteem and um, you're still trying to recover from that. And so some of you may be feeling a bit leery about accepting this person back into your life. But yeah, this was definitely a three-party situation. Some of you could have been dealing with a Capricorn. But some of you are even in tune um, to your intuition. Your intuition may be cluing you in that this person may be, you know, on a quest to win you back. This person is now coming back to recover what they lost in the past. 
as far as this relationship is concerned, they're trying to mend fences and, and fix things to see if they can rebuild what it is that they walked away from in the past. And this person could have been out there, you know, vanity is what I'm saying on the table. Some of you could have been out there exploring your options and um, leaving this other person in limbo. And they're not quite sure, you know, where they stand with you. But this person that is leaving to this situation external from your, your, your coupled relationship, they're taking a very slow and methodical approach to um, try to <clears throat> repair what has been broken in the past. Um, because this person realizes there's still hard feelings in the situation. They still realize that they've hurt you. And so they're trying to take a very slow approach. They don't want to rush anything, but um, they will come forth and make an offer. So Virgo, I'm seeing that if the, the issue, the, the lines of communication will reopen between the two of you, you will be able to have some type of dialogue and maybe resolve your issues if you're open to it. This person, again, sees things for what they are as opposed to what they were in the past because this person was too wrapped up in vanity and deception. But now they see your true worth and your value. Um, there were overall disappointments in this relationship, but this person was happy with you and they want to um, see if they can restore those happy times with you. So they were being slow in the past, but I feel like they're going to now um, come forth and tell you how they really feel and it looks like the truth needs to be spoken in this situation again because there was deception and lies or someone realizes that they, they they now see the truth of the situation from what they walked away from so some of you in your current relationship you could be feeling like this is like the two of you are living as roommates you know this is um like a friends with benefits type of vibe that's going on <clears throat> that this person is walking away from. <clears throat> this could also be because of some deception and feeling emotionally drained in this relationship that was very toxic. <clears throat> there could have been turned down offers in the past, but it looks like this person from in the situation external from you, your partner is willing to work on the relationship. And, um, or some of you, <clears throat> excuse me, your partner could be a workaholic or spending a lot of time out of the home working in order to avoid the issues that are going on at home or avoid the fact that they are trying to leave because it looks like that was already discovered through some type of spying. And this person doesn't really want to face this situation with you. So they're also leaving you in limbo by not really communicating and giving you any type of mental clarity. And in the past, this person was kind of skating around the issue and not making a decision because this was convenient for them to be able to, you know, go back and forth between the two. So it looks like this person is now ready and willing to balance the scales between the two of you. You know, and I'm talking about this relationship external. They're ready to balance the scales where they were unbalanced in the past. But I'm saying that your current partner could be seeing you as emotionally abusive, emotionally disconnected from the situation. You know, I feel, I'm feeling like those of you who are coupled in your current relationship, you are distancing yourself from this person. And you are um, reaching out to this person from your past. You know, things haven't quite been the same in this relationship. The two of you are living as roommates. Um, the two of you are not really resolving any issues in the past that, <clears throat> excuse me, you're not really resolving any issues or you're, you're not really willing to put in the work anymore, it looks like. It looks like this current relationship that you're leaving from has, you know, run its course. I'm feeling like this is a karmic relationship and um, you're leaving this situation that no longer serves you um, and you're you're looking on into the future for something better. So I feel like some of you are just really tired of fighting. You've been doing a lot of fighting lately, and you're ready to confess your feelings for this, this ex of yours. And this is a situation that you really didn't want to come to an end in the past. Um, but this was possibly just because one or both of you or all three of you were blinded by this toxic situation, this three-party situation that you found yourselves in. All right, Virgo couples, I'm going to move on into your advice card. 
Okay, Virgo, so I'm shuffling now for your advice card. Holy Spirit, what advice do you have for the Virgo couples from now until next weekend? What advice do you have for the Virgo couples from now until next weekend? Virgo couples from now until next weekend. Virgo couples, Virgo couples. It says get more information. Okay, Virgo couples, let me, and I'll pull a second one because I believe that card comes with asking for a, another card of clarity. Okay, it says abundance. Okay, so I will go ahead and read your advice card. Virgo, please bear with me as I read this to you directly from the book. I don't want to water down your message. Virgo couples, it says get more information. Okay, the situation you're asking about requires more information in order for you to make a wise decision. Approach those knowledgeable about the topic to solicit their advice. If there are friends or family members in your midst who have insight into the matter, ask them for their observations. You may need, you may need to do some analytical research in order to get the data you need. This could include reading books, taking classes or seminars, or gathering information from the internet. Okay, so then abundance. Let's see what this abundance is about. Great abundance will find its way into your life. Your plans will yield prosperity, providing a sense of security about the future. Your angels will be with you as you take the actions necessary to manifest your dreams. Abundance is not always financial in nature. You may be seeking to manifest new ideas, a large circle of friends, vibrant health or romantic life. This card can also reflect an inflow of any of these types of treasures into your life. Open your arms to the treasure of open your arms to heaven to receive with gratitude that which you desire. Okay, Virgo couples, I hope that this brought you some clarity. And if you would like to book a personal reading, you can contact me at angelicascensionstarot.com or directly by email, angelicascensionstarot at gmail.com. For those of you who are brand new to my channel, I give you a warm welcome. And I want to thank all of you who have been loyal throughout this time and you come back weekly to watch my videos. Please know that you are appreciated and I will see you again next week. All right, I hope October is good to you. Bye for now.